Okay, we're trying something different. It's GTA 5 interviews with GTA YouTubers, or if you want to call them anything else, whatever. But it's going to be mainly GTA YouTubers in this series. I got this idea from a YouTuber called Riley Black Fox. And yeah, today I'm joined with The Gaming Jew. Say hello. Hello there. I'm going to first off ask you how your day is going. Um, yeah, my day is pretty good, actually. I've been very excited about this, I'm not gonna lie. You did ask me a couple of days ago, and I've been very, very excited since. Yeah, I, this is, you are my first guest, and I am excited for the series where it's going to take me, and, yeah. I'm basically the benchmark for failure now, aren't I? <laughs> if this doesn't go well. <laughs> correct, correct. It's, it blame it on the Jew, yeah. <laughs> I mean, not, not, not in that way, but you know what I mean. History repeats itself, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, it has a habit of doing that, yeah. So you are known for your Warzone streams and your voices. Is that correct? Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I, okay, to the, newer, to the newer people who've not been to my channel before, you go on there, you'll just see Warzone and shit posting. And am I allowed to say shit? Y yes, you can cuss. I don't fucking care. <laughs> oh. Fuck, fuckity, cool. Yeah, so, I mean, you'll see Warzone and you'll see shit posts, but I do, I still reserve weekends for GTA. I started off as GTA only, strictly GTA YouTuber, but then I've sort of migrated over to other games that I enjoy. Um, and yeah, so I, mean, I do still, I have an unreserved love for GTA, though. And I think everyone does. It's just, it comes with the game. It's an eight-year-old game now. Is that correct? Is that, is that right? Yeah, eight years? almost eight years old, yeah. And there's there's a, just this big diverse group of people on this game, and it's just like people say it's dying, but I really don't think it is. I mean, no, what what's your opinion on that? Do you think it's GTA as a I, whole is dying? I think no. I think when people say GTA is dying, I think the limits of their imagination have hit. You know, they've hit the the the, the pinnacle of their imagination on what to do with the game. And this is essentially a huge sandbox game. You don't have to do what is in the confines of the game. You can look beyond that and do things beyond that, which has always been a thing with the, the GTA franchise. It's always, even from back way, when it was just GTA 1 and we were looking at the top down and stuff, there were still things that you could do that weren't necessarily within the parameters of the standard story. Um, that's what I love GTA. Uh, that's what I love about GTA, is that you can do anything as long as your imagination isn't limited. Anything you can think about doing, you can do. I mean, I recently have started doing on my GTA streams a taxi race where you get it. We all call taxis at the airport. We get in as passengers, and then it's a race against traffic to get to another place and who's got the fastest, sort of, you know, the fastest taxi driver sort of thing. Uh, you can do anything as long as you have the imagination to do it. Oh, your light just went out, and I've just noticed that. But... <laughs> I think it's because it just like turned daytime. Oh, I was thinking you didn't pay the power bill. Oh, right. yeah. I mean, I'm I'm pretty poor, so you know that that, that would <laughs> yeah. make sense. All the cash on the tables, yeah. All the cash on the yeah, tables. Yeah, yeah, that that's just for show. It's all play money from eBay. <laughs> but in, in the retrospect of GTA, what kind of player do you think you are, like amongst everyone else? Uh, I am. I mean, you get your PVPers, mm -hmm. you get your tryhards. Um, you get your griefers and things like that. I don't think I fall into a category, so to speak. I'm not a racer because I'm not very good at it, which is probably going to kill my whole channel now because I'm all about speed and power. And now I've just blown away the third wall or whatever it is, the fourth wall, and I've just literally said, no, I'm rubbish at it. But uh, I'm not really a racer. Um, I don't think I'm anything. I kind of sort of mold into whichever situation calls for me to mold into. So, if, right. I mean, if I need to do some sales, I can, I can do the sales fairly confidently. Um, I, uh, racing, I can't do that very well, but I still have a good time doing it. It's my favorite thing to do. But uh, yeah, primarily I'd say I enjoy racing the best, but the fact that I can do anything on this game means that I can be anything at any time I want to. Really. And I think that's the beauty of this game. You can do whatever the hell you want because it's just this, like you said, it's a giant sandbox. And I think that's why people are driven to it whenever they're like, they take a two, three month break from it. They're like, oh, this game's actually kind of fun. And yeah. I think really the people that call this game dead are the people that don't work for their stuff on GTA. Like the money, they they don't work for it. They get mo like modded money, 
and they have everything yeah. in the game and it's just boring or give cars to friends and all that i mean i don't i don't hate on those kinds of people like the people that want to give cars to friends like that's that's no, different I don't, but that's it's not like you know what i mean it's, i i get it stepping outside of the parameters of the game but i what i meant when i said that was in a legal way you know right you know, right not, like, any things that i shouldn't have in the game and and giving cars to friends is fine but then you have to understand that literally everybody that's ever been in that session is going to have the same car as you it doesn't make you any different from anybody else for sure but yeah i don't know it's weird so you stream almost every single day and you deal with a lot of different people and i, and I just want to know from like your point of view what is the worst thing you've had to deal with while streaming uh, well, a couple of months ago, until the channel was taken, ta uh, taken down, every Thursday I got raided by uh, white supremacists and neo-Nazis. Um, they would, yeah, they literally typed in Jews in gaming, and I'm the only person on YouTube who's stupid enough to have the name Jew in their, you know, in their channel name and, and obviously playing games. So they found me and consistently every Thursday raided me with, you know, 88 and things like that, which is like a, a, a Hitler thing, and, and you know, people mm -hmm. would be laying off like, oh, you should have been shot by the death squad, and you know, things like that. But, but uh, like, my moderators were very quick to sort of like, you know, hide these people or, or mute them or whatever. But I, I sort of discouraged that and said to them, look, there's no point doing that because then if you silence these people or attempt to silence them, they've won because they think we got to them, we got to that person, we win. I like to let people say whatever they want to say, um, and usually I'll have a a, a retort for that, a pretty witty retort in some way. Um, but yeah, it was weird. It, it, towards the end of it, it sort of, people just started, the, the Nazis came in friendly and decided to drop likes on my stream and, and raid me in a friendly manner. Some of them even dropped super chats and, and super stickers and stuff like that. And there was no rudeness anymore. I think I literally endeared myself to Nazis, which says a lot about me, I suppose, in, in, in one way or another. But yeah, that's the worst people. That's definitely the worst. The worst right. I've had to do. So you do do voices. I was just wondering, like, how many could you do? Like, just off the top of your head, how many do you think you could do? Uh, oh, Jesus. Now, if you would have asked me 10 years ago, I probably would have said about between 50 and 100. But a lot of voices have died out now, so I've kind of stuck with the ones that people most likely know. So most of the Family Guy characters, quite a few of the Simpsons characters, a couple of old politicians, Skeletor, he literally fits into no category, so... That's weird. Um, and then maybe like the Austin Powers. Mike Myers' voices are pretty easy for me to emulate as well. I think we have could, could we hear some of the Mike Myers ones? Uh, yeah, so we can do frickin' Dr. Evil, okay? I've been an evil doctor for 30 frickin' years. Hey, yes, that's right, Dr. Evil. Hey, we have his father. Okay, Gold Member, be quiet. Ow, that really hurts. I'm gonna have a lump there, you idiots. Who froze his shoe? Honestly. Oh, I'm fat bastard. Welcome to my sexy body. Oh, look at my nipples. Oh, they're getting all the eggs. Oh. It's pretty much. <laughs> well, you are very talented at that. I mean, I do some voices. I can do. Hey, how you doing? It's freaking Peter Griffin. I know you can do Peter Griffin. How you doing, Peter? I'm pretty good, Peter. This is interesting, isn't it? Yeah, two Peters interviewing each other. <laughs> two peas. <laughs> two, two peas in a pot. <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. So I, I think I've got uh, one more question for you and then we'll move on to something else. So what? on YouTube, what's one thing that you would change if there are anything? Like anything that you could change on YouTube, what would it be? I know it straight away and this is something that's probably that, that I know for a fact has affected you personally as well. But as soon as you hit a thousand subscribers and are accepted into the partner program, you should have some sort of check mark next to your name not necessarily a tick that you get at 100k but something to show people that you are the genuine channel and then nobody can emulate who you are and try to you know sort of disparage your good name in other channels and up the live streams it could be something simple like a little crown next to your name or something like that you know not taking away from people who have more than you and they get check marks or whatever but just something that separates you from the people who aren't monetized that's what i would like to see I, I think I should add on to that. I think what they really should be doing is making it so you can claim your username like on YouTube and nobody else yes. can have it. That would I think that would fix yes. the thing without taking away the validation of the check. It's mark. a very simple thing that's across all of social media. You right. can only have one username like on Twitter. 
there's only one game in due YT. There will not be another game in due YT. It's very similar. That was a shameless Twitter plug, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, if you want to go and follow me, please do follow me. I, smoke, I post pictures of my smoking hot wife, and that's about it. But anyway, um, no, that's that's what they should do. I, you can only have one username on right. any social media. PlayStation. Why can't it be YouTube? PlayStation and yeah. Xbox. Like, you pay for your... Game like, if game you want to change it, you pay for it. And yeah. no one else can have that username. They can have close to it, but they're never going to get your gamer tag you know and i think that Absolutely. it's a big issue for smaller channels that don't have a hundred thousand subscribers because all these trolls are going into these random live streams like you said and just tainting the actual creator's image yeah i've seen it happen with you i've seen it happen with doe burns even mm -hmm. smaller creators like my good friend snake freezer it's happened to him rufus the red it's happened to him the only person it hasn't happened to is me, and that's because I don't need trolls to say stupid things for me. I do that all the time on my own. I don't need anybody to pretend to be me and say something inappropriate, because I generally do that anyway. So I think the trolls are going to leave me alone, thankfully. Right. So I want to end every one of these interviews off with asking if they want a 1v1 in anything in the game or any game they want to play. So would you be interested in... 1v1ing me in racing yes I, I know i know you were going to ask pvping and, uh, and whatever i know you were planning on asking me to fight at the beach or whatever but but yeah it's just not me i would however would love to do a race and have you beat me at that um and destroy my channel once and for all <laughs> i don't think but, it's yeah. going to be destroying anybody's channel i think it's all going to be friendly <laughs> so of course <laughs> but yeah let's let's get right into that right Right, so essentially, this is a very simple race, nothing to do with speed and power, or anything to do with skill. This is simply driving camper vans down Mount Chiliad and trying not to explode before you get to the bottom. Pretty self forward. I, I, I mean, yeah, you would think so, yeah, but I have done this before, um, and it didn't win, so I'm not, I'm not too excited about this, if I'm honest, but... You well... You did choose the race, so... I did, yeah, so I'm not going to get bogged down on how rubbish I am at it. I'm not going to use this as an excuse as to why I fail inevitably, but we'll see. Oh. Let's uh, kick it off. Let's kick it off! <laughs> Brilliant. Let's not get bogged down. <laughs> Sorry. Is that right. what I say? I'm like... Let's not get bogged down. Why, why do I sound like a chimney sweep from 1920 something <laughs> when you do my voice? Let's not get bogged down. I Let's turn not the... get bogged down. Shine your shoes, Gavner. I'm turning into Arnold. <laughs> it always happens. <laughs> Stop turning into Arnold all the time. <laughs> These fuck. These camper vans are just dreadful, man. Absolutely Disgusting. Dreadful. Disgusting paint job. Just, just literally driving down a cliff in a meth van. Oh, we change. We have the same color. Okay. Oh, we do. Yeah. Well, that was an accident. This is some great content right there in the back of the camper. Yeah, I should have picked the other camper van. There's like pictures and things inside there, and you can see the fridge. Goodbye. Mm. Why are you so much I faster? I have no idea. I say this a lot, but I'm a supreme driver. Usually that follows me exploding, but this time it looks like I might be alright. Oh boy. This is where it's going to get sticky if I don't make it to that fucking checkpoint over there. Yeah, I'm going to make it. Come on. Oh! Oh, I hit a concrete bush. Oh, well. I'm well. in first. Oh, there's no beat me now. I think you may have won this one. Well, GG. Yep, there we go. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not having a GG on that one. I'm afraid. No, I was absolutely. That was stolen from my grasp by a concrete bush. Thank you very much indeed, Klaus Zelnick. <laughs> Damn it. Well, I mean, well done. Well done, sir. I knew that was going to happen. I could see it a mile off. Yes, you too. Well. GG, thank you for coming on to the show and talking to me. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. It has been. That camper does not fit in that garage. <laughs> it really doesn't. Well, I think we've 
figured out who the supreme driver is, so go and uh, fuck yourself. Yeah. I will see you later. He's just very happy about that, definitely. God, I've ruined my life. <laughs> well, I hope you have a good day, sir, and I will see you around soon. Yes, thank you very much indeed, my dude. Bye-bye. <laughs>